Well, 27 times a, a world champion. And I know you're investing now to, to make that 28, 29, 30 and so on. Well, of course, you have to understand I'm not personally 27 times world champion, but yeah, it's a great honour to be working with uh, uh, the ladies and gents who've achieved that. It's a fantastic landmark. And we feel that part of our role is to provide the player with whatever they need in terms of equipment, um, anything off the hockey uh, that we can possibly do for them. And if that contributes to their performance on the hockey, then I guess we feel a bit of a buy-in to success. How far could it go? I mean, Unicorn obviously has been has been part of the darts boom, certainly over, over the last decade. I know the company's been around a lot longer, but everyone's saying that there's still a long way for this sport to go, there's still to evolve. Well, I think that's certainly right. I mean, with the advent of the PDC in more recent years, um, the promotion of darts in a spectacular, innovative, enjoyable, possibly approaching a younger audience uh, um, has been magnificent in the UK. And I think one of the missions of darts and, I guess, the PDC is to spearhead that same sort of formula, that same format, achieve that same reach in other territories. Um, for example, in the USA, um, as a company, we've been selling darts there for over 60 years. And yet when you go there, the truth is that darts is really under the radar. Um, yep, you'll see a dart board in every basement, every garage, uh, but it's not accepted as a mainstream sport. So it appeals to the aficionados there um, and the hardcore dart players, but we need to broaden the appeal of that to um, an enthusiastic mass market uh, that the States offers. Interesting you should talk about America. I mean, the PDC has tried very hard over the last, certainly, four or five years um, to, to crack the American market. And for whatever reason, it's still just not quite happening. I agree with you. And um, um, in terms of Unicorn, uh, we understand that. Uh, we sell, certainly have sold, over 60 years, probably hundreds of millions of sets of darts in the States. And it's to our continuous amazement that it is still, as I say, under the radar. Um, and it's a big job to crack. It really is. The PDC have got some extremely talented, very resourceful people. Um, and it's been very difficult. Um, and I, I think that um, their focus may well move further east um, into markets that perhaps have not had the history of darts, um, but to whom the TV game can be bought. And that enthusiasm that excitement uh, can be put over to um, many new people. Of course, one of the things about darts is that it's an intrinsically very cheap sport. Um, set of darts and a dartboard in the UK, really for 25 quid, you can be up and running with very good quality equipment. Not many sports um, out there like that at the moment, and particularly when people are feeling the pinch all over the world. Was well, it interesting you should say that because the, the credit crunch hasn't bitten darts, really. When you look at, at all the woes that, and, and troubles that are facing so many people around the country and around the world. Well, there is, of course, uh, a difference between the sport of darts and the business of darts. Um, and I, I quite agree with you in terms of popularity, in terms of viewing figures, in terms of uh, uh, people turning up, buying um, seats for uh, televised events. Um, the only way darts is going is up. Um, in the broader sense, um, then darts competes uh, for um, a consumers spending power amongst many different things and if their total spending power is down then um, you know darts is not immune from that but um, even when we look at our figures we're in fact up on last year in terms of darts um, only a little bit but I think um, that's not a bad achievement and I suspect that Unicorn is one of the very few dart companies anywhere in the world that can say that. It, it, yeah it, is it getting harder though to sell a dart? No. Um, we, over the last few years, have worked so much more closely with the players. We've been so much more sensitive, I think, to um, the people who are going along and watching darts and the sort of changing demographic. And we've broadened our product range uh, substantially. The catalogue we've just launched today is 88 pages. I was looking back at our catalogue in just 2005 or so, and it's about 36, 40 pages. We thought we had a cracking range there. But we have found tremendous growth, um, and in fact our customers have on the business side of things, um, in higher end, more specialist, more innovative 
products um, that people out there really do want to buy. And I do believe that we have catalyzed the market into saying, well, a set of darts doesn't just have to be $4.99. Um, and people are quite accustomed now to, to spending 50, 60 pounds on a set of darts because they appreciate the engineering, the innovation, the design, um, and above all, the performance and the durability of a, a set of really good unicorn darts. You've invested heavily in, in the Far East uh, and in China. Um, I think you touched on it before. Uh, Phil Taylor's already mentioned it as well, that, that that is the market, the next big market for darts as a sport. Well, I think a lot of people look to China um, and, of course, to India, and they look at the population and they just play the numbers game and say, well, if I can have 0.01% of that kind of number, it's going to be good. Um, but it's tough. Um, we've been selling darts in China for um, probably about eight or nine years now. Um, but the truth is, um, again, it's pretty much an unknown sport. Um, a few years ago, the PDC uh, ran a, a tournament in Shantou, uh, which we attended, and a number of players attended, and it generated a certain enthusiasm. Um, but uh, it's a question, really, of working with the powers that be in China um, to sanction darts and to get it approved as a, as a good thing. So um, you have to bear in mind that China is a rapidly developing economy, um, and again, something like darts, which is uh, foreign to them and new to them, has got to compete against so many things that are appearing on their um, ways of spending their money. Um, so um, our sales in China have risen year on year. Um, as yet, I wouldn't retire on them. Um, I would love to think that uh, uh, I could retire on them in a few years' time, but the pragmatist in me says that... Uh, um, it's going to be a few more years after that. I've got to ask you finally, I don't think any of us could quite believe where darts is now. If we've been talking about darts 10 years ago in 1999, where is darts going to be in 2019, in another 10 years' time? Well, the funny thing is that in 1999, um, I was uh, very sure what the future of darts was. I, I personally got involved in the PDC, WDC as it was then, in 1993 and um, there was something about it, there was something about the quality of the people who were involved in it, about the passion of the people who were involved in it and of our then 45, 50 year experience in making darts and seeing uh, cycles in popularity of darts that we just knew that it just was a question of lighting the touch paper and it would take off. Um, well the last few years have been uh, a fantastic ride where will it be in another 10 years' time? As I say, I, I believe that the real growth is is to come from uh, being able to export the game and the culture of the game and the television uh, performance of the game uh, to, to new territories. And I think, in that sense, the future is very bright.